Hello everyone and welcome to my channel today Matt Builds. Uh, today I'm going to start doing uh, the life bolts by putting the canvas on them. Uh, yesterday I drew around the life bolts uh, 16 of the large ones and two of the smaller ones. So all I've got to do now is just glue them in place. These are all parts I'll be using and as you can see I put L, 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 L and the majority of them and small on the two small ones there. So I don't know which ones we've put. These will be facing down like that so you can't see the letters. So what I might do is start with the uh, larger ones. Making sure they are, I get the right ones out. It's going to be 16 of these. Got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And ones but no matter one two three four five six these are the collapsible ones the smaller ones I don't know what goes there. No, and then small ones there so as you can see well I'll show you is just put it over the top over the top like so glue down and this is uh, canvas paper gesso prime so it's ready to be painted so now we need is a tray for my glue, I'm using Gorilla Glue. Not putting a lot on. Get my cocktail stick out. To be honest with you, I just hope this Gorilla Glue will hold it down. on here making sure get it on correctly Just like so. I 
if it'll focus properly. Just keep pressing it. And then I'll be uh, trimming around the ed edges. Well, there again, it might just be okay then. So that's one lifeboat done. Perfect. Get the next one. can be a bit fiddly <laughs> as you can see I'm having a right hell of a time with this one just doesn't want to fit doesn't want to go on at all this this is where I could use the tweezers and I've left them in the shed. And I've still got plenty left for me a uh, hachette build. The Titanic, plenty of canvas left. You can get this canvas paper, it's Crawford and Black. Uh, let's, what size is that? Um, I don't know what size it is, but it's, it's a canvas pad. You get eight sheets, 
it's gesso primed which can be used for oils and acrylics and you get it from the works for three quid and there we go number three <coughs> Now, if you just bear with me a moment, guys, um, I've, I forgot to take out a cob for me dinner, so I better go and get one out now out of the freezer. It won't be a minute. I'm okay, going back, guys. Sorry about that. It's not like me to forget me uh, dinner. It's getting cobs out. So I'll carry on now. see what I'm doing there can you? Silly me. Also, I'm not doing any more on the Spitfire yet because, uh, as you already know, I didn't get the buttons for the remote control, and I can't do a test flight yet. So I'll be doing a few tests on it, make sure just well, see if that cable snaps because it snapped on uh, a couple of the uh, people who were doing the build uh, John Bill's iconic models he snapped Horlix channel his cable snapped and that was after he completed the model itself you had to completely strip the plane down I mean you would have thought though Hachette would have uh, given us a decent cable for the amount of money we've spent on that Spitfire. I just hope uh, that if there's going to be cables in with the Titanic build, I hope they don't, uh, there's no problems with them. Or with that build. I think the manufacturers should do the research properly. Test everything. I don't, I don't know how that got past uh, quality control they should have done more tests on that <coughs> before bringing that model out and I reckon to be honest with you they cut corners just to get it out quick and that's why a lot of people I've uh, sent their Spitfires back and got a full refund, which I don't blame them. And to those who are doing the Zero fighter by Aglora, I hope you don't have the same problem. Many cables on that build. And I'll just keep hold of this one. It's a bit uh, doing here. It seems to want to go down. Let's keep all the way there. I don't like gaps. I'm just keeping hold of this one until it's properly sticks. Actually, I've got a feeling there might not be enough glue on that. Uh, so. Off that and bring it in. Hmm. And I've got clamps, they're all in the shed. Everything I need is in the shed. Ah. I found it one. 
So I'll just put a clamp on that for now. Just to hold that down. Let's put that there. And then the next one. And this is stage 51. I should have mentioned because I uh, did stage 50 part 1 and 50 part 51 part 2 the other day with the rigging on the funnels. And that was very, very time consuming. Okay. Oh dear. I need to blow my nose. I'll get this done. So it's something, this canvas paper is absolutely brilliant. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to now. Well that's that one done. Get the next one. Say something, or this is very relaxing. I mean, I could have done this in the shed, but you won't better see much. You know, I'm still trying to figure out why my cam uh, webcams don't work on my laptop. I haven't got a clue. one on now. to paint this canvas I'll be using acrylic white paint because it'll need a couple of coats on it So this Gorilla Glue is really good for this. It's not good on other things, but for sticking the canvas down. And this is thanks to Airborne Soldier who uh, gave me the idea to get canvas paper. Because I would have used material, but it depends what kind of material I needed.
Well, it says on my computer that we've got rain coming. Not bad, I'll say. We have one day and good weather, and then the rains come. And then he doesn't know when to stop raining. <sighs> Just as well, I uh, cut the grass yesterday. I really needed cutting. And I struggled doing that yesterday. The back was killing me. That's a, that's a stop after about five minutes just to have a rest. And then that much pain in your spine. I mean, I'd get a gardener, but they don't they don't do it properly. And we did have one once, and when he left, I had to do it again because he made a right mess. Because if you need a job doing properly, you got to do it yourself. And that's why I didn't do a video yesterday. Because I was in so much pain, I couldn't do it end up going back to bed to rest had some tablets for it and then they just knocked me out did nothing for the pain they just knocked me out don't know why I bother taking them for to be honest and that seems to have gone on nicely do a quick I think it'll be uh, another hot toddy day today. There's that one. <coughs> Next. Well, I hope you all had a nice weekend. It soon comes and it soon goes. And it'll soon be Easter. I know it's boring watching doing this, but there's no point just doing about a five minute video when it's only just one part, it's not pointless, so that's why I do this one. <laughs> Get it all done. That one's a bit key. Trend. On you go, on you go. Okay, is that one done? Next one. Not many to go now. As if I've done enough. If not, I'm going to have a couple, couple more down.
so. Sure, there's enough on, but not too much. <sighs> to go away now for this to stick. My Titanic should have uh, magazine should have come last week. It was due, so I don't know what's going on with the shit again. And also, I need to paint that uh, anchor, not the anchor, the uh, chain holder, and the capstans that I put on last time. I just completely forgot all about them. Right. Only f one, two, three, four, f one, two, three, four, five to go. Which I haven't had. So once I've done this one, I'll just press pause. get the others done and then wait till I come to the last one and press record again. Because I'm coming up to the half hour mark now. <laughs> Just press pause and I'll see you shortly. Right, I'm going on my last one now. <coughs> and the glue's going off now, so I better be quick. this 
good one last moment. Just trimming it down a little bit. Like so. And there we have it. All live bolts are done. Perfect now, nice and dry. So these now will be getting painted. All them, the canvas and the collapsibles and everything. And that's stage 51 completed. Well, that was fun. Getting all them done. Now these can uh, go back in the tin and then back in the shed. I'll wait for them to properly dry first before I'm back, back in the shed. Because uh, tomorrow I'll be attaching them to the uh, Titanic itself, gluing them in. After they've been painted that is. Uh, which shouldn't take too long to do. So I'll probably paint them first before I put them on the ship. And then do that on... What day is it? Tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday. Do that Wednesday. If all been well. So, I'm not going to blabber on as always. Um, so, it's not turned out too bad. Well, anyway, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for future videos. So, until tomorrow, guys, y'all stay safe, y'all take care, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.